gonna empty out all the junk out of my purse. I'm not feeling my great, my great today. I'm not feeling my best today, but I thought hanging out with you guys would make me feel a little bit better. And I also thought that it would make me feel a little bit better to empty the boulder that my purse has become. This is literally a burden. I wish I could, oh my gosh, I can put it on a scale. I would not be surprised if this was not 20 pounds at least. We're gonna find out together. Time to weigh it. Oh my gosh, I'm just that weak. 6.8. We just got some mixed messages there. Does anyone else's scale ever do that? I swear I step on the scale like the never is of never, hardly ever, but every time I do, I will stand on that scale and within the span of five minutes, it will give me three different weights. I don't know, but what that was was a major wake up sign to me that maybe I am literally the weakest person on earth because this is either like 7.4 or 6. Point whatever it told us. And I'm literally like lugging this around like it's like the weight of the world. Like I'm like Atlas, you know, just holding up the planet. It's not that big of a deal. My bag you guys have seen before. It is a Burberry bag that I got on mega, mega clearance. I found it at a Burberry outlet and the sale price was just too good to be true. It was like on triple magic Christmas sale. And then on the outside of my bag, of course I have a hand sanitizer and it's in a little froggy container. Not only do I love gators, I also love froggies and the sanitization scent I have in there is called You're a Gem. I don't really know what that means. That's not indicative of any sort of smell or flavor whatsoever, but there you go. They just love naming things exotically. You guys are helping me today clean out my messy life and for that I have a garbage bag over here so that I can actually empty out the garbage. Imagine that. Very first thing here I see precariously laying on the top of my bag, why am I carrying this around? The new Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. And I think that this is going to be my first impression Friday video for this week. That's actually why I'm carrying it around. I keep thinking to myself, oh, you need to swatch that today. So I keep thinking carrying it around is gonna help me do that. So far, no good. Still haven't done that video, obviously. I have been doing a lot of traveling this month though, sideline, side note, excuse time. Also in here is of course my wallet, which is a lovely leopard print. I love leopard. And uh, I'm not gonna show you guys the contents of my wallet. That would maybe just be creepy, but I will show you guys this bracelet that I have been carrying around with me for a million years. A Swamp Family member made it for me a million years ago and I have carried it in every wallet since then and it's a little friendship bracelet and it says Graveyard Girl. I swear it says Graveyard Girl, but my camera refuses to focus and I just love it. I love carrying little pieces. I almost said little pieces of you guys with me everywhere, but side note, sideline. That's the two words of the day. That sounded creepy. So little pieces of things that you have sent me or handed me at a meet and greet. There we go. Sounds less creepy all the time. Oh, I just bumped the camera. I'm sorry. Also in here are my, ooh, two quarters. Mm, 50 cents that I just dropped on the floor. My Wild Fox sunglasses. They look like little lips. I got them off of Doll's Kill. I love red sunglasses because usually I'm wearing red lipstick and it goes together marvelously. Next in here, more change just falling on the floor, are definitely something you're probably going to be seeing in my monthly favorites this month. They are the Tatcha oil blotting sheets. They are so fancy, so effective. I'm addicted to them. I'm gonna go ahead and take one out just so I can show you guys. I don't know what possible benefit this could have other than cheering me up every time I look at it, but they have little tiny flecks of gold in the paper. It's like, it's, it's too good to use on my face, honestly, but I have been thoroughly enjoying them and I feel like somehow I can use these and they displace my makeup less 
than like the traditional plasticky blue ones. These are like, I don't, are they rice paper? Something like that. Japanese beauty papers made of something. Abagoragami. I don't know what that means. Abagoragami. Is that a new cool song? Oh look, Advil. My medicine of choice. And I have the big bottle. So every time I walk around, I sound really creepy. Like I've got maracas in my purse. Does anyone have maracas in their purse? Hands up. Also, I have a item that I thought would make a real cute does this thing really work video in the future. I don't know if anybody's gonna care about this. I really wanna know though if this works or not. They are called Magic Puffy Pins and I actually found them in Hot Topic. I had to go to Hot Topic one day with my friend Chris. He was picking up some stuff. I don't even remember what he got, like a t-shirt or something. And I saw these and I like had to have them. They, they just, they do magic things. Just thumbs up if you would like to see this in a video. Hopefully you do. Hopefully I'm not alone in that curiosity. The next thing in here is probably why my bag is so heavy. It's a big giant Stephen King book and I love Stephen King. Okay, Stephen King, call me. Let's have coffee. So I picked up Four Past Midnight, which is, ooh, my door just jangled. Strange things are happening. And it's like right when I'm talking about Stephen King, cue the creepy noises. I picked up Four Past Midnight. It is four short stories by Stephen King. But the story that's in here that I really wanted to read is called The Langoliers. Langoliers. Me and my friend that just got engaged, we watch spooky movies all the time together. And she recommended that story to me. She said it was so good. So I went out and bought this book thinking that when I was going to be on the road all this month, like for BeautyCon and South by Southwest, that I was going to like start doing some heavy reading. So we had all this driving and suddenly I got an email from Audible and they were asking me if I wanted to test out their service. Audible is just basically the world's largest library of Audible books. They have something like over or right around 180 thousand titles. So we're talking about a lot of books here. So they asked me if I wanted to try out their service. I downloaded the app. I downloaded this book and it was like my lucky magical day because they have different people obviously reading the audiobooks and I guess sometimes they're actors and the actor reading the Langoliers Langoliers is Willem Dafoe and I love him also. So that is what I have been doing as I've been driving to and from BeautyCon and South by Southwest and basically what I've just been sitting in my bathroom for hours doing my makeup. I have been listening to Audible and I've been listening to Willem Dafoe read me this story. I don't know, it's just been so relaxing and I never thought I would be anybody other than like the, like I wanna read it and I wanna touch it. But I feel like just listening to it has been like such a different, awesome experience. I really like it. In addition to allowing me to test it out for free, they also gave me a coupon code so you guys can test out the service for 30 days yourself. All you have to do to check it out is go to www.audible.com slash bunny, that's me, and you can get a free 30 day trial for yourself. But after that, you would have to start paying for the service if you decide you like it and you wanna keep it. It's something where they kind of like automatically bill you for that subscription. But if you do click the link in my info box, you can get the free 30 day trial. So once again, if you wanna test it out yourself and get a free 30 day trial, you just have to go to uh, www.audible.com slash bunny. So that was a really long winded explanation about why this is in my bag. Also, I've been thinking about doing like a what's my favorite books slash what's my favorite movies video as well, but they would have to be two separate videos. I don't know. But again, I, I feel like sometimes my recommendations are a little bit creepy. So maybe nobody, I still have this plastic bag on my head. What am I thinking? I literally spent three hours today curling my hair just to put a plastic bag on it. 
Hi, hi, no brains up in here. Next thing I have in here is a janky half-used box of fake fingernail phalanges. These were my special beauty con Dallas nails, and they are the Elegant Touch House of Holland temporary fingernails, and I saved them. I literally don't know why. It's borderline disgusting and now they're falling out all over the floor. They have like little roses and stripes and this is the worst way to show a nail ever. So I'm just gonna insert my photo that I posted of them on Instagram. I don't know why I kept them. I feel like it's time to let them go. I wanna reuse them, but I also feel like that's kind of sick and maybe I shouldn't do that. Next up in here is a bunch of tiny paper Starbucks sample cups. If you guys follow my Instagram, you might remember my sock monkey that I got antiquing in Dallas, and he was like my Dallas mascot monkey, very cute little sock monkey. And so I decided that the sock monkey needed his very own adorable little Starbucks cup. And we literally drove like to every Starbucks within a 30 mile radius of my hotel in Dallas, finding little sample size paper cups for the monkey. Not even for a human. Ooh, what do we have in here? Oh yes, uh, these miniature brushes from Tweezer Man that I forgot to use. I got these in the mail and I was like, oh, they feel so nice. They're perfect. They're travel size brushes and um, they're still clean. I never used them, but they do feel so nice. So it is like a small set of four brushes. They're not like eye brushes, they're more like grooming face, highlighting, contouring, powder brushes, but someday they will come in handy. Up next is this perfume in a glass bottle that I shouldn't be carrying around with me. It is like my new favorite fragrance, which is from Jo Malone, and they came out with a bunch of herb, herb, I'm not Martha Stewart, scented fragrances, and this one is Sorrel and Lime Thyme, Lemon Thyme. Sorrel and Lemon Thyme, I can't read. I'm gonna spray this on you so you can smell it. Mmm, I just sucked up a whole bunch of sorrel and lemon thyme in my tongue and in my mouth. Sucked it up in my tongue. That's not a real thing. <sighs> up next is a half-eaten Marshmallow Dream Bar from Starbucks with a receipt shoved into the marshmallow bar. I literally just was like Beetlejuice and ate half of this, folded it up and was like, oh, save that guy for later. This is literally like my lunch most days. While I was in Dallas, I didn't have time to sit and eat and think and breathe. And so my nourishment was marshmallow dream bars because obviously I still had time for Starbucks. And this is a receipt to Starbucks. Obviously. Up next, I've got some loose dollars. Ooh, and a receipt from Value Village. And a $10. I don't even know who's on a $10 bill. Oh, Hamilton. Good old guy. Maybe. He did some things. Next in here, I've got a bunch of Marvel Universe trading cards from like the 90s. Dogman and I love to get these every time we're in Austin. We get these at Monkey See Monkey Do, which is a pretty cool store in Austin. They literally just have like a bunch of comic book characters like from X-Men and Avengers, Captain America. And I used to love opening these things when I was a kid and so did Dogman. And so lots of times when we're in Austin, we'll just get a couple packs and like relive our childhoods and then I will shove them in the bottom of my purse and forget that I have them and then clean them out like we're doing now. And there's another packet of cards and one of my Dolls Kill gift cards from my Beautycon box. There are still a couple of those left, by the way. People have been tweeting me every day asking and I think we are down to the bare bones, the last few of them, but I have this in my purse because I was like photographing things and talking about things in my Beautycon bag and... So there it was, I, I still have it in my bag. Also I have miniature Advil, cause quite apparently one giant bottle of Advil just isn't enough Advil. Also in here I have some pretty cool glasses that Holes gave to me at Beautycon Dallas. I love 
Holes glasses. They are the Kaleidoscope glasses. I think it was last month I put a pair of them in my monthly favorites. I really wanted these. These are the Heart Kaleidoscope glasses. I don't know the style name, but once again, the whole lens here is flat so you can see out of them and they don't make you feel sick or weird or dizzy see like most of it is just like looking through really cool colored glass I've got some hand sanitizer in a fragrance that I love and my camera is not focusing this is like cherry champagne toast I don't know what that means I guess the, oh my gosh they mean toast as in like a drink obviously I thought the whole time I had this fragrance that they meant like like toast that you eat and I was like why would you put cherries and champagnes on toasts you wouldn't that's why they don't mean that could have had a V8 also in here is another tiny bottle of perfume once again stupidly enough in a glass bottle why am I carrying around a bunch of glass this is Estee Lauder's beautiful it smells beautiful it's a delightful fragrance and i've been wearing it for years especially since they discontinued my favorite scent ever in the history of the world i've been trying to like get attached to other fragrances and nah. so the next stuff in here is two mystery items Woo! and i'm gonna show them really fast in black and white you guys get super excited because i have a very special project and it's coming out in a couple months i don't know why i just said that so creepy but I have the things in my bag and I wish I could show you guys more, but I'm not allowed to yet. So that's all you're gonna see for right now. I've got some more money in here. I never put my money in my wallet. I just drop it loosely in the bottom of my bag. I also have a menu of services from Benefit. I finally got to uh, go to one of their like physical brick and mortar stores. And I was thinking about getting my eyelashes dyed, but I chickened out at the last minute. But I was still just like, oh yeah, like perusing their services. My mom got hers done and it looked fabulous. And then and I was really sad that I didn't get it done. Um, also in here I have a million straw worms, like straw paper worms from my Starbucks straws. Mm. I've got another receipt to gentle toning peony. Oh, I got this printed out at Sephora. Some Sephora's like print out like little receipts full of informations on products that you can buy. Mind blowing, exciting experience. I have half eaten Hershey bars with almonds in here and there's like a penny stuck down in the chocolate bar. Oh, that's, that's very gross. Why do I do these things? A dollar bill. Ooh, that's two dollars. I also have a very cute handmade bunny that a Swamp family member gave me at my South by Southwest meet and greet. And hi, I'm a little bunny. So cute. I have some perfume sample spray things and some more receipts from Uncommon Objects, a Crackle Bar wrapper, and another thrift receipt. This is so boring. We are at the bottom of the bag now, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I also have some of my little cards that I was signing at my meet and greet at BeautyCon. These are so cute. I kept a couple of them that I had left in a little stack for myself, for my own memories. This bag is like 90% trash and loose change and valet tickets and hotel keys. The price tag from my bag. I like to leave the tags of my bags for some reason because I think one day I'm gonna be like a little old lady. I'm gonna be like a thousand years old. I'm gonna want to be like, oh, remember when this purse was $12? And that's gonna seem like so cheap in the future. You know, do you ever, do you ever just like look up stuff like how much was a cheeseburger in the year that you were born and just be like, crazy about how expensive stuff has gotten. Pack of Ritz crackers, yum, they're half smashed. Valet tickets and business cards and Starbucks gift cards that were special for Easter and they are so cute. Last year they did Valentine's Day ones that were shaped like conversation hearts and this year they did Easter eggs and they are so cute. I pick up Starbucks cards all the time just because I like the way that they look. I also have a scrumply disgusting melted Hershey's kiss in here. Just look at this. Okay this looks mummified. All right archaeologists have found this. This is disgusting. 
disgusting. And I also have a special edition, extremely dirty Shopkin in this bag. Who can even tell what this is? Oh my gosh. I seriously need a vacuum cleaner, you guys. There are so many crumbs from all my snacks in here, along with lots of change, like nickels and dimes and pennies and things. Oh, we have some Polaroids, some in stacks pictures from when my friends were just in town. We went to the Waffle House before Sydney and her boyfriend had to go home, and we took these Polaroids there at the Waffle House. Memories. I feel like the studs are what makes this bag heavy because now there's, now there's nothing in it. There was just some more quarters, I guess, but nothing in this bag and it is still so heavy. I actually counted the number of studs on this bag one day, because I got really bored at Starbucks, and there's like 547 or 587, or maybe it's 548, because why would they put an uneven number of studs on something? But maybe it's just time for me to change bags for a little while. As much as I love this one, this large open design just invites me to just put all of the world's junk inside of it, and it is pretty heavy. I don't know. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me today. I hope my energy is going to be a little bit more better uh, in tomorrow's video. I'm just like, oh, like, I don't know. It's like I want to do things, but physically I feel kind of yucky and uh, that's no good. Thank you guys so, so much for being here today, for hanging out and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit that button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family, and give an alligator its wings. Also, if you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyardgirl, or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at graveyardgirl, same way it's spelled here. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye!